Hello everyone, this is Leslie, the Curator of Exhibitions at the Ontario Museum of History and Art. Today we'll be talking about one of our past exhibits called Sam Maloof, Shaping Wood, Shaping Artists. An exhibit about the craftsman Sam Maloof, a renowned furniture maker based here in Southern California. For those unfamiliar with Sam's work, he was known for his hard lines and emphasis on contouring. This look and design was quite common during the American craft movement. It can be defined as a response to the Industrial Revolution. During the 19th century, people strive for a simpler, fulfilling way of living. The emphasis on utility and design became a new aesthetic for work working. Before Sam became the amazing woodworker, he was very good at hand painting signs during high school. Thanks to his skill for precise lettering, Sam acquired many job offers because of this talent. He hand painted the welcome sign to the city of Chino, a sign that stood proudly on Central Avenue for two decades. After graduation, Sam was hired at Vortox, a Claremont manufacturing company. He ended up being their graphic designer. Before Photoshop, a graphic designer is an illustrator for advertisement. These are some of the works he created while his time there. Fun fact, Sam was accepted to the Walt Disney Company Animation School. However, because of his strong bond to his mother and family, he couldn't imagine being away from home and passed on the opportunity. His desire to start woodworking began when he got a late evening job with the artist Harold Graham. Known for his store displays in Los Angeles at Bullocks, such installations were challenging, which caught Sam's interest far more than what he was doing at Vortox. Harold asked Sam to make furniture for a new home he was designing for himself. This is when Sam possibly began admiring the style of Art Deco. Harold would tell Sam that everything he designed he was able to build, a rare skill that Sam looked up to and inspired him to pursue his interest in woodworking. At the end of his apprenticeship, he learned the round over style and fine joinery. And that's just half of the Sam Maloof story. Stay tuned for the next part in the series. Goodbye for now.